Hi, I am Sameer. Uh, I am heading the T24 support services. Uh, just wanted to tell the sort of challenges that our clients face. In our experience, what we have found is that uh, the test environments get neglected. Now, it is not a deliberate thing which happens, but generally, in our experience, what we have seen is that it is the same team which handles production as well as the test environments. Whenever this happens, the production obviously takes priority and test environments get a short shift. We have seen that this has led to delays in testing and hence time to market. That is why we very strongly believe that there needs to be proper test environment management in place. When I say test environment management, it is provisioning of T24 test environments. It is also T24 pack or product deployment fixes any changes being deployed and also call execution on test environments. I would like to share with you a particular case study of one of our clients. Now, we had 30 plus test environments and there was just one team which was handling both production and test environments. The result, there was more than 20% downtime on environments due to COP and delayed deployments on test environments. Test environments not in sync with live. When we went to the client, we realized that there were virtually no documented processes and procedures for deployments. So the very first thing that we did was that we set up the processes around deployment after engaging with the various stakeholders, set up SLAs and started deploying, meeting those SLAs. This was also helped by developing an automation tool. This way we were able to keep more than 30 environments in sync on a weekly basis. Similarly, we have been helping other clients as well in their T24 life cycle, starting from T24 environment provisioning, deployments, COB execution, and production support. In every engagement, we bring our service value adds. We have been able to significantly reduce efforts and automate mundane tasks using our accelerators. 